it's game day 25. Uh, I am now going to change the RAM of um, the what is it called? Acer Aspire 3 um, with a 8 gig um, RAM because the 4 gig what comes with it is too slow. So going to change it and for you guys would actually want to do it yourself um, there is some tools that you need to have um, just so that you can actually unbox uh, well not unbox but take the back panel of your Aspire 3 off so that you guys can actually change your RAM and you must also take out your hard drive but let me show you guys how it looks I have um, taken out all the screws and so on so basically I'll just like go step by step so you guys can actually see. Um, hopefully you guys actually can see me. But yeah, let me show you. So as you can see, um, I have removed the hard drive that goes in here. There is like a, a flappy for me if I show you guys. Um, where the hard drive goes in, which is that. Um, the whole unit is loose, so basically you have to unscrew all of the screws down there, down there, all the way down there, and all the screws look exactly the same, even the screws here on this edges, all that screws you have to loosen, the ones that's in the center you have to also loosen, but before you loosen those ones, first loosen your hard drive one, so there will be a screw like this. But will be in that corner there and then there will be this gap which will be there also so if you're wondering um, how it looks you just unscrew that one screw what's in that point and then you pop open because there is like clips on the sides so as you can see so just be gentle when you pop open so start from this corner work all the way down around and the whole thing pops open so basically when it's like that you can just pop it open so if I can just find where that screw is okay so once that is done um, then you can basically start popping the thing open I don't know exactly what do you uh, guys call this in different countries and different places but this is normally just a guitar pick um, when people use to play guitar it's nice and thin and if you have like a music shop or a guitar shop they will have a lot of this ones and try and get the thinnest one but also durable one so if you don't have like some plastic briars or so um, you can use something like this it's a tool that you can lift as you can see there's like a V on that point you can use something like that but it was very difficult for me to use but the best you're gonna need to use this which is this thing so basically if you look on the sides sorry for the shaky camera if you look on the sides this have to go in between there and you just slide all the way down I know there is like this curvatures what's on this side with the USB and the lights are so just be very gentle and pop open from this side and work your way around so just be very gentle when you're busy with that and you can do it all the way so you won't actually break any of your clips um, because that can happen um, and it's very easy to um, break a clip so what I actually want to show you is the, the screwdriver or the set what I'm using um, which is this and again I'm not sponsored by this people so if you guys are thinking that I'm sponsored by um, the certain companies what I'm showing you I'm not sponsored by them I just bought their set so basically I'm using the T10 you can see there and that is how the T10 looks. So basically, it's just a 
a nifty tool that you can use and it goes for all the screws as you can see it goes for all the screws so once that is done and you popped open all this because there isn't any wires or any um, connections what you have to look out for or flip your laptop uh, to the other side um, so basically you just pop it open once it's fully open you lift up and place it on the safe place because you really don't want to lose that so basically the craziness is all here so that is where the hard drive oh, the hard drive the ram is it has some special silver or clear um, casing so it doesn't get damaged i will replace the ram but before you replace the ram as you can see from this point you can see um, by this point you can see this cable is loose that is for the battery so basically I unplug this one which is for the battery and I'm just guessing that it is the battery I'm not precise about this but for me when I always see this red and black eh? red and black that is part of some power source going to the RAM or going to the circuit board or so so I did unplug that one which you just push it all the way back the white part of it you push all the way back and it will slide out nicely then there was another one what I saw on this side which is this one this one says the plus and minus and as you can see on top there is a whole set of wires this look like also part of the battery so the battery and um, I don't want any like battery power actually moving in the circuit so I remove the battery and now I can actually remove the RAM part so just like in the in my previous video of removing the RAM basically it's just that two pins there that one there and that one there and push that to the side and then the RAM will come out so and the RAM what I am using is this one so it is a 8 gig as you can see 8 gig okay and that's how it looks and remember when you do take your RAM out um, don't touch the gold pins Try your best not to touch with your, with your gold pins or touch your day with your gold pins or I can't speak. Yeah, but you guys sh should get the point is just don't touch this gold pins. What's on that side? If you do touch it by mistake, it's fine, but um, I highly recommend you not to touch it. Um, So I actually want to show you guys like a really close up of what I'm doing. Oops. So if you guys can actually see that I'm just lifting up this part. And I think this plastic thing is all in the way. Yeah, they have some special plastic thing so it basically just lift it up so just like that unfortunately it is dark I know it is dark but basically that's the RAM and if you guys are wondering 
that's how the ram looks on the side okay so that cold part what i was talking about that cold part there that is the part but you shouldn't touch at all so place it on a safe place so that you don't have to touch that and make sure that you don't damage the new one when you take it out of the packaging um, there's the new one and the old one old one new one so and check the pins yeah and make sure that you go for the one what says um wait i'll explain to you guys in a moment that's done so as you can see that one is okay and this is the old one I wish they could actually put the details of the thing on except um, they don't so you basically have to do your own research but like I was saying is that double check the uh, RAM say this one is one six zero zero um, that is the precise one what goes in here but you can get your 8 gigs you can get your 4 gigs depending on what your pocket size of money uh, for the hard drive or for the, the RAM then you can place this in um, the one which comes stop they don't say if, if it is a 4 gig, oh they do say it's a 4 gig, but they don't say that other information. Um, but yeah, this one is the right one. Um, you can get in different brands like Samsung and all the other good brands. Um, you can get one like this, or you can get the, the Samsung one. Or you can get a transcend one um, there is quite a bit of different makes what you can get for this one um, because there's such a wide variety of this kind but yeah so basically I need to place that in and that in again which is that one there and that one there so if your computer is a bit dusty or so, um, this is a good time to like clean it if you need to do cleaning. But you know, this is a brand new computer. I don't have to do any cleaning. I just have to place the RAM, what came with it, in the unit, what the new RAM came in. So once that is done, um, just place the old one or the new one new old um, RAM in the packaging so that you know that it's there and place the, the power source And you have to be very careful because basically you bend the board so you don't actually want to you 
you don't want to damage the boot at all in no anyway um because this boot can break very quickly um so basically just put in all the power source back And with all the computers, that pieces will be difficult to place because it's like old. So that was the only ones. So basically, it's only that one and that silver one. So look out for those ones. I don't know if all of the Acer Aspire 3s look like this exactly the same on the inside. But if it does, um, this will be a good help for you guys. So I didn't take this one out. Only that one, which you can see, that one, and that one. So basically, I'll just put the cover back on, um, which is this in it here. I'll put this cover back on. Once the cover is all back on, then I'll start up the computer and I will check if everything is all running. I will have to pause the video or actually I have to stop the video because my phone is kind of getting very hot and I want you guys to see actually what's going on. So I am going to stop the video. If there is any other problems or any other things that I come across, I will make a second video of this video to explain to you guys what I came across. Was it the right thing what I done? Um, was there any problems what I have? and so on but like and subscribe don't let anyone bring it down always try and stay positive and yeah um, this is game down 25 i am going to close up this thing completely and yeah cheers guys